What's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another video. Today everyone, I'm going to be showing you all how you can get custom global resource packs on your Xbox so you can add custom texture packs to your worlds, get them on servers, really really cool. This is the texture pack I'm going to be showing how to get today. It is the Electro Games PVP pack, but any texture pack will work the exact same way. If you are looking to get mods, custom skins, custom worlds, I have it all down below, a link to my website that I actually have. And on this website you can easily pick what you're looking for and then it will show you the video that correlates to that add-on. So if you want other add-ons, check out the website. Also, if you have any issues at all during this video, I have a troubleshooting page on that website linked down below with all the very common issues and fixes. And I can also try and help you out my Discord down below, but definitely check out that website troubleshooting page first. But without any further ado, let's get into how to get these custom texture packs. So the first thing we're going to do is go onto Microsoft Edge on your Xbox and we actually have to find the texture pack that we're going to download. So again, for this video, I go into Microsoft Edge, I type in Electro Games 10K MCPEDL. MCPEDL is a website that is entirely bedrock, so if you're ever looking for texture packs or whatever, that is a great site to use. But feel free to type this in if you want to get the same pack as me. So after we type that in, I press enter, then it will be the top search result right here, the Electro Games 10K PVP pack. Press on that top link and then it will load you into the MCPEDL link and all you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says downloads and we're going to press on that uh, green download button that basically says download the pack it'll say you're leaving the site that's okay press the green link in the middle of your screen to continue and then it will take you to this next site right here called link for ties there is another really popular site it can take you to called BSTLAR. I have a video linked down below how to bypass that website. But for this video, we're going to get past link for ties. So the first thing you want to do is scroll down to where it says free access with ads right here. And you're going to press on that black button. Once you press on that, it'll take you choose and complete right here, it'll say, and you want to scroll down to where it says, I'm interested, the orange button, and you want to press on I'm interested. Once you do that, you want to go to where it says explore website and learn more. Basically, you have to press on this orange button. It'll give you a few advertisements here that'll pop up. So you press on that, it'll open up a new tab. Then you have to wait for this tab to load. Then you want to just press on whatever the top search result is for you, whatever the top article is, press on it, and then close it immediately in the top right, right there, I'm hovering over the X. Press on the X to close that tab, and then also close this tab right here so you want to close the two tabs that popped up then you'll be back inside of link for ties and then once you've done that you can go down to where it says i have already completed this step and you want to press on i've already completed this step in the middle of your screen with your cursor and then it will finally take you to your mods download page that'll look like this but because we are in microsoft edge we can't actually press the blue download button so don't press the blue download button Instead, hover over the URL at the top of your screen with your cursor. Once you hover over it, press the button with the three lines on it on your controller so you select it all. Then you want to go down to where it says copy right here, and we're going to copy that entire URL. After you press on copy, you're good to go ahead and close out of Microsoft Edge. And now we have to use another file browser app, and this app is called My Files Explorer, and it'll look exactly like this, and you actually have to go into the Microsoft Store and download this. It has a one-day free trial, and if not that, it's $2.50. If you want a 100% free method to getting mods, I have that linked on my website down below, but go ahead and get My Files Explorer onto your device. Once you are inside of My Files Explorer, you will get this pop-up on your screen that says you need to install whatever, whatever. Go to the left option that says Install from Store, and that is the one that you want to press. So we press on Install from Store, and once you press on that, it'll actually take you back into the Microsoft Shop again, and now it'll be an app called Expansion for Explorers, and you want to get Expansion for Explorers installed onto your Xbox. So just press Install on that, and you will now have Expansion for Explorers. It'll look exactly like this, and this is the app that we now want to open. Once inside of expansion, what you want to do is locate on the top left this download from URL button and you want to press on that. Once you press on the download from URL button, it'll take you to the browser inside of expansion and you want to hover over the top URL right here with your cursor, press A, then press the button with the three lines on it and you want to go to where it says paste right here because we want to paste in our download link. So you go ahead and you press on paste. After pressing on paste, hover over the URL with your cursor and just press A on it. Then you can go all the way to the right side here to this next arrow and you can press on the next arrow. And once you press on that next arrow, it'll take you to your download page and you can now press on that blue download button. And this time it'll work and it will automatically take you to this screen right here where you'll see your texture pack right here. What you want to do is hover over it with your cursor, press the button with the three lines on it and then go down to where it says copy file and we're going to copy the entire texture pack. 
Then you're gonna go to the left side of your screen where it says packages right here, and you're gonna wanna press on that packages folder. If the packages folder is missing, go ahead and reinstall expansion, and then it will show up, but press on packages. But once inside of the packages folder, we now need to find the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP folder. It'll look exactly like here. It'll be in here amongst all these files. But there is a chance that you won't have this Microsoft.Minecraft folder. If you don't have this folder, if it doesn't show up, you can simply add in the folder yourself. And I have a video down below explaining, so it's a very common issue it's missing. Check out the video down below. You can add in the entire file path. But you want to find this Microsoft.Minecraft folder and then press on it. Once inside of that folder, you want to go to where it says local state. After local state, you want to go to where it says games. Then go into the com.mojang folder. And then finally, in here is where we put our add-ons. Now, because we are getting a custom texture pack, go ahead and find the resource underscore packs folder and press on that one. Once inside, find any open white space with your cursor. Press the button with the three lines on it and go to where it says paste. And that will paste in your entire texture pack right here. And that is all the file managing steps that we have to do. Now you can go ahead and import as many add-ons as you want because the next step takes a little bit of time. What we actually have to do is called the reinstall method. And this reinstall method, what we have to do is install an older version of Minecraft and then we update to the newer version of Minecraft and that pretty much loads in your add-ons. Now the big issue with this method is that there is a chance that it can corrupt your worlds for some reason. And I think people say it corrupts your worlds. If you already have add-ons on your worlds and you do the reinstall method, there is a chance it can corrupt them. And I'm not sure why that happens to be honest. I've also heard stories of doing the reinstall method and it saves people's corrupted worlds, so it's completely weird how it works, but I will say there is a risk to doing this method, so definitely take that into account here before you do the reinstall method. And I will say it seems to work for the large majority of people in giving them their add-ons and keeping the world safe, and for me actually it saved all my worlds, so for me it's always worked perfectly, but the choice is yours. But yeah, if you want to do this method to load your add-ons, what you want to do is import as many add-ons as you want before you do this. You can just reinstall once and they will all show up. But what you want to do now is close out of every single app on your Xbox, just close everything. And you actually want to go to your Minecraft, go down to Manage Games and Apps, and you want to completely uninstall all of the Minecrafts off of your Xbox. Go ahead and confirm that, get rid of all those Minecrafts. Then what you want to do is go to the Microsoft Store on your console and launch that. And once you are inside of the Microsoft Store, what you want to go ahead and search for is actually Sponge Bob, right? This is really weird how this works, but go ahead and type in SpongeBob just like it's shown on my screen right here. And once you type this in, what you want to do is look for this Minecraft add-on right here for $8. We won't have to buy it, but you want to find this SpongeBob add-on and press on it. After pressing on this SpongeBob add-on, it will take you to this page. And once you're at this page, what you want to do is scroll down once, scroll down twice, and then scroll down one more time till you get to where it says works with. And once you see works with, you want to press on this Minecraft right here. And then this should be the special version of Minecraft. And you just want to press install on it. If it doesn't let you download it and it says not currently available or not sold separately, I have a fix down below in the pinned comment on the website. But go ahead and get this special version of Minecraft installing. It'll install like any other app. And then once it finishes, you'll see it right here in the recently installed. You want to press on it. It'll say Minecraft needs an update. And then you want to press where it says update and get that Minecraft updating. If you have any issues with this install, installing step. I'll have a link down below to the website where there are other reinstall methods you can try. But try this one out first. You'll then see it in your recently installed once it's done updating. And you want to press on that recently installed Minecraft and get that loading up. And congratulations, this is the special version of Minecraft with your add-ons. From the menu screen, go down to where it says settings. After pressing on settings, you can go down the left side to where it says global resources. Go over to where it says my packs on the right. And in here you will see all the custom texture packs that you added. Your Electro Games pack will show up right there. You can just press activate on it and you will now have that global resource pack installed. You can use it on servers. You can also apply these packs on worlds. Really cool. Hopefully this helped you all out. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Smitty and until the next one, enjoy the packs. Peace out.